Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you may be watching. This is Christine at Christina's Crocheting, and today is Wisdom Wednesday. I'll be reading from Every Day with Jesus by Greg Laurie. Week 41, Wednesday. Getting our attention. No one is cast off by the Lord forever. Though he brings grief, he will show compassion. So great is his unfailing love. For he does not willingly bring affliction or grief to anyone. Lamentations 3, 31 through 33. In the much loved Psalm 23, David wrote, Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The rod and the staff were shepherd's tools. The staff was a long, crooked instrument the shepherd would use when a sheep was going astray. But the rod was simply a club that was used when the staff wasn't working anymore. We may think a club is extremely cruel to use on a poor sheep, but better to get whacked with a club than eaten by a wolf. Sheep are incredibly dumb. They will actually line up to die. If one sheep goes over a cliff, the other sheep will say, get in line. We're all going to die today. Let's go, single file. The shepherd sometimes has to use extra corrective measures on a wayward sheep that could otherwise lead others astray. I have seen the Lord use the rod of suffering or sickness to get someone's attention. He will say, you really shouldn't do that, and then convicts them by his spirit. But they might ignore him. So he tells them, don't do that. I don't want you to do that. If they continue to ignore him, bam, God will use his rod. I told you, don't do that. I have met a lot of people in hospitals who have come to Christ. Unfortunately, a lot of them don't stay with Christ, but others continue to walk with the Lord. Maybe God has recently whacked you with his rod to get your attention. Maybe he has given you a wake-up call in the form of suffering or sickness, and you've been wondering why. The book of Hebrews tells us, My dear child, don't shrug off God's discipline, but don't be crushed by it either. It's the child he loves that he disciplines, the child he embraces, he also corrects. Don't ever doubt it. If God has allowed hardship or suffering into your life for a season, it is because he loves you. Thank you for joining me today. That gives you something to ponder. I'm not always sure that I think that God wrecks havoc in our lives. That's just my, my opinion. Uh, we all have free will and what someone may do down the road could affect us in a not so great way. So those are more my thoughts of it that with our free will, we, we choose to do things and people's choices affect other people. It's that ripple effect. Anyway, today is Wednesday again, and I hope that you have a great rest of your week, and I will see you soon. Thank you.